r slash rules horror posted by walmart brand jesus how to play chess by yourself if you've come across this then that means like me you enjoy a good game of chess every now and then if you're also like me you probably don't get a lot of opportunities to do so maybe your friends aren't as interested you don't have a chess club nearby or maybe you just want a bit of practice well i've got the solution and a damn good one at that so long as you follow these rules to the letter you'll be able to enjoy an evenly matched game of chess whenever you feel like. Before you go any further, I really recommend you're at the top of your game depending on how you go about this. Now without further ado, let's start. You might want to read through all this before starting yourself but it should be fine if you just follow along each step. Setup 1. Find a dark room, preferably the basement. If you don't have a basement, turn off all the lights and cover the curtains until it's just about pitch black. You can leave the lights on until you've finished setting up so long as you know it will be pitch black when you do. 2. Get a sturdy table. You can use whatever table you like, but you might fare better if it can't move that easily. 3. Set up your chessboard in the middle of the table. 4. Get two chairs, one for you, and another for your opponent. 5. Set up two candles to the left and the right of the chessboard. 6. Have two pieces of paper to the left and right side of your end of the table along with a pen or pencil. The paper to your left is to keep track of the moves during the game. 7. Shut off the lights. Starting the game. 1. Once you have everything set up, light the candle to your right. This is your candle. Do not let it go out until the end of the game. You have now begun. 2. You now need to decide what game you're going to play. This is what the paper on the right side is for. If you wish to just play a simple game, keep the paper blank and keep reading. If you wish to play a game with stakes, that is, with a possible reward for winning, skip to stakes game below. Simple game. This is just a simple game of chess. No worries, no fuss. 1. Leave the paper to the right blank. 2. Out loud, with a clear voice, say. Just a simple game. Are you ready? 3. The candle on the left will light up on its own. You are no longer alone. You may now proceed with the game. Make sure you write down the moves on the paper to the left. 4. At the end of the game, three things will happen. You get checkmated, your opponent gets checkmated, or there is a draw. 5. In the event that you checkmate your opponent, say the following. Better luck next time. Thank you for the company. After you say this, the left candle should go out. Your opponent has left satisfied with a good game. It is now safe to snuff your candle and turn on the lights. The game is over. 6. In the event that you were checkmated, say the following. That was a good game. You played very well, thank you for the lessons throughout. After you say this, the same thing should happen as did in the previous rule. You may now snuff your candle and turn on the lights. The game is over. 7. In the event of a draw, say the following. I believe we are evenly matched, my friend. Perhaps victory will show its face another time. The left candle should go out again. Snuff your candle and turn on the lights. The game is over. Stakes game. Before going through with this, please understand there are grave, grave consequences depending on how a stakes game goes. You must be able to make peace with whatever should happen if you lose when you begin the game. There is no going back once you start. 1. On the paper to the right, write down the reward you seek should you win. Your opponent will be able to grant you anything you desire. Anything. Be specific and make sure it all fits on the one side facing up. 2. Once you have finished, turn the paper around to the blank side. Say the following out loud, and with a clear voice. A stakes game. What is your price? 3. The candle on the left will light up. The blank side of the paper will now be replaced with your opponent's price, that is, your consequence should you lose. Read the price carefully. This is your one and only chance to end this now. If you do not think you can or want to afford the price, say. An intriguing offer, but perhaps another time. The candle on the left should go out. It is now safe to snuff out your candle and turn on the lights. The game is over. If you accept the risk instead, say. Very persuasive. Let us begin. 4. The game has begun. Make sure you keep track of the moves with the paper on the left. 5. At the end of the game, three things will happen. 
you get checkmated, your opponent gets checkmated, or there is a draw. 6. In the event that you have checkmated your opponent, say the following. Thank you. I take my reward with humility and appreciation. The candle on the left will go out. Your opponent is satisfied with the game. You may now snuff out your candle on the right. You may also turn the lights on. The game is over. 7. In the event of a draw, there is no reward and no price will be paid. Say the following. An unfortunate situation for the both of us. Perhaps another time. The candle will go out. Snuff out yours and turn on the lights. The game is over. 8. In the incredibly unfortunate event that you get checkmated. I am truly, very sorry. There is nothing on earth or heaven that can prevent what happens next. There is nothing you can say, but manners don't hurt. Say. I accept the consequences with grace and finality. The price will be paid immediately. I hope for your sake it was worth it. Safety. Unfortunately, neither the stakes game or the simple game is truly ever safe, even considering the consequences that come with the stakes game. These rules will prevent even further issues from happening should any of these situations come up. 1. You were never meant to see your opponent apart from the small glimpses you may notice from the candlelight. A lit up room will give you a full view. No one has ever survived with an intact mind afterwards. 2. Your opponent is the guest, and you are the host. Lighting up the left candle instead of the right will reverse these roles. Your opponent will no longer be constrained by the rules of the game, or to the chair. 3. Snuffing out your candle before the game is over is to forfeit the right to your flesh and soul to your opponent. You belong to them now. 4. You must have perfect knowledge of the rules of chess. Your opponent does not take cheating, however accidental, lightly. Should you make an illegal move, your fingers will be degloved when you try to let go of the piece you moved and your candle will be snuffed out. 5. Chess is a gentleman's game. Be respectful and say the sayings exactly as written. Any disrespectful thing said or a poor tone of voice will result in the removal of your tongue. 6. Your opponent will not always be having a good day. Making a move not in their favor or winning too hard against them may cause them to lash out. Since you have done nothing wrong, all that will happen is the table will shake and the pieces will fall off the board. Once this happens, you will have two minutes to put the board back exactly as it was. This is why you are to keep track of every move made. 7. Failing to put the board back as it was within two minutes is to exhaust your opponent's patience. Your candle will go out and you will experience the purest definition of pain. 8. Keep your game spread out. Having games too frequently will give your opponent a liking to your home. They may not leave when the game is over. 9. If your opponent doesn't leave, you are not to snuff your candle. Keep it lit and leave the house. You have until the candle completely burns through to make sure your opponent can never find you. Posted by Walmart, Brandt, Jesus. How to play blackjack by yourself. After so many months, I finally have another game. I got so many comments asking if there was any other game you could play with this. Kind gentleman. So I tried. I played stakes game, after stakes game, after stakes game. Loss, after loss, after loss. Days turn to weeks turn to months of playing against this hoary honorable, fair opponent, until after there wasn't much of me left to give. But I finally won. I won a whole new game, just for you. I hope you're happy. Blackjack is not as pure a strategy game as chess in the slightest, in fact some would say it's just betting the odds. But there are strategies to play, and odds to master. Before going through these steps, you should know that it was not easy to get this game, and because of that, the opponent is in no mood for simple games. Do not, I repeat, do not proceed if you cannot make peace with the consequences should you lose. Setup 1. Find a dark room and remove any and all sources of light. Cover the windows, stuff cracks with towels, etc. You can leave the lights on until you finish setting up. 2. Get a nice, sturdy table and place one chair on one side, and two more next to each other on the opposite side, evenly far away from the single chair. 3. Set up 4 to 8 decks of cards, shuffled well and with all the jokers removed, to the center of the table. 4. Place a piece of paper in front of whichever one of the chairs you wish to sit in. Do not sit in the single chair. That is for the dealer. 5. Place 3 candles of equal size on the table. One on the far left, one on the far right, and one in the middle. 6. Sit in your chair, and turn off the lights. Starting the game. 1. Light the candle corresponding to which chair you chose, right chair, right candle, left chair, left candle. 2. Write down the prize you want should you win the game. 
Your prize can be anything you can fit on the paper. Anything. Unlike your happy games of chess, you will not know the price until you start the game, and there is no going back once you have started. If you wish to stop, stop right now. 3. Look ahead to the dealer's chair and say. I am ready. Full stakes, no quarter. Playing the game. The following are the basic rules of blackjack, if you already know them, skip to playing this game. 1. In blackjack, you, the dealer, and any other players are trying to get the hand with the highest total, so long as they don't exceed 21, or bust. If you bust, you lose. 2. The worth of the cards is as follows. 2 to 10, worth their face value. Face cards, jack, queen, king, 10 each. Ace, 11, or 1 if an 11 would cause you to bust. 3. Your options when it is your turn are as follows. Hit, the dealer gives you another card. Stand, you hold your current hand and take no more cards. Double down, you double the wager, and take one more card, then stand. Split, if you have two of the same card, you can split and have each of them be the start of a new hand. 4. The play of blackjack is as follows. If the dealer has a blackjack, ace and a 10 value card, and the player doesn't, the player automatically loses. If the player has a blackjack and the dealer doesn't, the player automatically wins. If both the dealer and the player have a blackjack, then it's a push, neither the dealer or the player win if neither the dealer nor the player has a blackjack, each player plays their hand one at a time. The dealer plays their hand when all players have finished. Playing this game. 1. Once you have said you are ready, the other two candles should light. The middle candle is the dealer's, your old chess opponent. The other candle is an unfortunate soul playing out the only purpose they have left, servitude to the dealer. 2. On your paper you will see the other player's prize, and the price at the very bottom. Do not acknowledge the other player unless absolutely necessary. They will try to say anything to gain sympathy from you. They made their choice, and are not worth it. 3. Make your moves by speaking them politely to the dealer. Look them in the eye and watch your tongue unless you want to lose it. 4. Choosing to double down will double the price, whatever it may be, as well as your prize. If this seems confusing depending if the price or prize doesn't look like it can be doubled, the dealer will find a way. Trust me. 5. When you look the dealer in the eye, and the color is anything but amethyst gold, you'll know it when you see it. Trust me, keep calm and don't look under the table no matter what you feel. It's going to be okay I promise. 6. Should you win, don't celebrate, don't gloat to the other player and do not ever accept the dealer's offer of a rematch. Just simply say, Thank you for your time, but I really must be going. I hope to play again with you sometime. Do not say you both, only address the dealer. The other player thinks they'll be free after this game is finished. They are deceived, but they can have this single moment's feeling of hope for once. They've lost enough, you don't need to take that from them too. The two candles should go out, and it is now safe for you to snuff out your candle and turn on the lights. The game is over, and your prize will be delivered immediately. 7. If you lose, whether by the dealer or the other player, you really only have yourself to blame. Don't bother being shocked or feeling cheated. You were warned many, many times. You can look at the other player now, or flip on the lights and try to run away, or even punch the dealer in the face. It doesn't matter anymore, the price will be paid immediately and in full safety. If you thought there were enough dangers to this game, I don't know what to tell you. You should have just stuck with chess. 1. If you catch the dealer not having amethyst gold eyes and decide to look under the table anyway, you will remain trapped under the table for the rest of your short, painful life. 2. Snuffing out your candle or turning on the lights before the game is over is to forfeit the game. The price will be paid immediately and in full. 3. Choosing to sit as the dealer is to accept that role permanently. You will never see the light of day or the warmth of the sun again. 4. After a few games. You will notice a figure in your reflection. Do not acknowledge it or pay it any mind. It is the other player from one of your previous games. They are angry but they can't hurt you. They should go away after a few weeks. 5. If you notice the same figure in your dreams. Do whatever you've ever wanted to do, it's only a matter of time anyway before they take over. If you accept the risks, another game will be able to get rid of them if you win. 6. Like chess. Keep your game spread out else risking both the dealer and the other player a liking to your home. The dealer has much more power with this game, so if they decide not to leave at the end of it, there's nothing you can do. 7. Whether you win or lose, the dealer always wins something, either from you or the other player. 
that does not give you any special privilege over them. You are nothing, and at the dealer's mercy until their candle goes out. Act accordingly. 8. If you see that the other player's prize just says, freedom for the rule maker, let them win. I don't care what you'll lose, it's the least you can do for what I did for you. There's still time to make things right. I just want to see my daughter again. Oh god I'm so sorry.